Ding dong, the witch is dead. Witch old witch, the wicked witch. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. Sarah Kavanaugh, quite possibly the world's most infamous stolen valor turd, has not only been arrested, she's been sentenced to jail, baby! Found guilty, sentenced, right straight to federal pound you in the butthole prison, baby! Woo! Justice! Oh, let it rain down on you so good! Now I'm gonna say some bad words and probably get demonetized on this video, but that's okay. Because today's sponsor is Goat Guns! Collectible miniature gun models, each with their own individual working parts. Sure, you could go with a short barrel desert camo AR-15, but you could spice things up with an arctic camo log. But why stick to rifles when you can have a badass 1911? Or an RPG. But why stop there? Why not get yourself a fantastic ACOG or a forward grip? Heck, you can even add a 50 round drum or a mini shotgun under it. Well, it's the perfect gift for every one of those retired grunts and guys that used to be deployed overseas. You can still relive the glory days with this fantastic Barrett 50 cal or the RPG and every other weapon system that you can imagine that you had over there. But fear not, these things aren't just for display. You can move them around. Check out the bipod carrying handle. You can even detach the magazine with some miniature bullets in there. Load it up, rack that action to the rear, and let one fly. You can get to all this cool stuff by clicking the Goat Guns link below, but don't forget to use code ANGRYCOPS to get 10% off of your entire order. Now, if you're just catching up to this, I did two prior videos on Sarah Kavanaugh and explaining that she stole some valor and that she's a turd, and then the second one showing you exactly how much she stole from non-for-profit veteran organizations, charities. Oh, what, what a wonderful person she is on the inside. But now, today, we have the culminating effect of all this bullshit, her actions, her arrest, and now her sentencing. Oh, it's moments like this that give me hope in the justice system. Now I implore you to watch those videos first before you get all the way here to the good juicy nougaty center that is justice and how much time she got and how much money she gonna pay back. But I'll refresh your memory. Sarah Kavanaugh, dressed up as a Marine, told a local VFW that she was not only a Marine, but a wounded Marine. Oh, huh? purple hearts, she will occurs. Heart really goes out to those ones. That she was down on her luck, that she needed some money. She went away on veterans trips to assist with her fake PTSD that she never had for never serving, but then she got caught up. Turns out, all of it's bullshit. She just worked at the VA for a little bit, stole a couple people's DD-214's military documents, proving that they were deployed in the wards that they received, and then made up this whole fake persona just to get some attention. Oh, uh, well. And a little bit of coin. I like money. And of course, on top of all that, what got her caught was that she feigned having terminal cancer. Called up a good friend of mine at Hunter 7 Foundation, and Hunter 7 Foundation, well, they found something smelled a little off with Sarah Kavanaugh. Did a little bit of digging and found out she's just full of crap. And that's what leads us here. All of her shenanigans getting found out, now the sentencing. But some interesting things came out during her sentencing. Well, there was witness statements. There was a whole bunch of investigative shenanigans going on to figure out just how much this crazy broad stole and lied about. Now, I touched on the majority on the previous videos, and once again, check those out, it'll blow your mind. But some of the new things came up during testimony from those affected by Sarah Kavanaugh's lies. I'll give you a little taste. Now, we already know that Sarah feigned having cancer, and that's kind of what got her caught up. But what we didn't know originally is that a friend, a colleague, a wounded veteran who happened to also have cancer saw Sarah and said, geez, she's hard on money. She needs some help. She's dying of cancer. I've got cancer. Why don't I reach out and assist her and give her $599 a month for 10 months to pay for her health care premium while she's getting cancer treatment. Well, Sarah didn't get any cancer treatment because Sarah didn't have cancer. So Sarah took a total of $5,999 from a veteran with cancer for herself. Just scammed him right out of it. Said, ah, oh, thanks, yeah, I got cancer too. <laughs> oh God, the cancer. And took his money, his charitable money to help her out. 
Oh, but that's not it. That's not it. Because <sighs> some of the shit that Sarah got as a benefit for being her stolen valor wounded self, it wasn't just monetary. No, 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 no. Some of it was just lording over people. I'll give you, I'll give you an example. I'll give you two. Oh, my neck, my back, my woohoo, and my ass. Sarah got a therapy dog. Oh, how great, wonderful, a therapy dog. And it pooped outside. Oh, just like a normal dog. But somebody had to pick it up and it couldn't be Sarah because she was fake injured. So who did Sarah get to pick up her dog poop for her? The medical assistant that came in to assist Sarah with her faux medical conditions from her stolen valor. That's right. Sarah had medical personnel coming in and out to assist her in properly living because she was a wounded veteran donated by veterans charities. And instead of, you know, actually helping out a veteran, they were tricked into helping Sarah. And not just help Sarah with her faux medical conditions, but pick up her dog shit. But wait, there's more. See, Sarah would go to the gym. Sarah needed gym memberships paid for by these fantastic veteran organizations. But when she went to the gym, oh no, her neck, her back, her fucking uh, C word and her crack. It was too much. Oh, the stolen valor hurt so bad that she couldn't possibly bend over and tie her shoes. So she had kind, caring people see a wounded veteran, as fake as she was, stolen valor, bleh, having trouble tying their shoes and they were gonna help her. They were going to tie her shoes for her. Sarah Cavada, fake stolen valor, I can't see it enough, had people at the gym, friends that she knew, tie her shoes for her because she couldn't possibly do it due to her fake stolen valor injuries. Imagine that. Imagine thinking that you're the nicest person in the world just trying to help out somebody that's been wounded overseas. You're gonna help them tie their shoes so they can continue physical training, get stronger, maybe get better, and get back to a normal life just to find out that some bitch tricked you into tying her shoes for God knows how long. Oh! Oh! I wanna throw a 45 pound plate at her head! Now before we talk about how much time she got, we gotta talk about what happened during the testimony, the witness testimony, the prosecution's final arguments, and the defense's final arguments given to the judge. We're going to talk about that. You see, that's what really irritates me sometimes about defense attorneys, right? You see a bad person that got arrested for a bad thing, there's mountains of evidence for it, and yet all they can think of is their solve rate, or their close rate, or whether or not they got their person off, or they got the minimum sentence compared to the big one. It's not about justice, right? Because who would possibly make up some bullshit excuse for this crazy lady and be like, oh, well, you know, she doesn't really deserve it. She didn't mean to. Every excuse under the book to make it not so much her fault. A defense attorney should be freaking ashamed of himself. What do you want me to do? You want me to not defend the person? No, I want you to look at what justice is and what your turd client did and then go, ah, yeah, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't have stolen over a quarter million dollars from charities and screwed over dozens of people. You know that she actually stole paid time off from individuals at her work at the VA? She said, ah, you know what? I don't feel so good. Can I get some paid time off? I've got cancer. I've got dumb in the brain. I've got blah, 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 blah. And stole people's paid time off. She even forged some documents. People who worked at the VA were like, Hey, wait a second, I didn't give her any of my pay time off. Why does she get some of my pay time off? That's fake. Oh, and here's Sarah just writing up fake, oh yeah, give her my pay time off fucking certificates and giving them to the boss and being like, ah, oh, thanks guys, thanks for the free days off. Death her turnery. No, no bounds. The defense tried to blame Sarah's actions on abuse that she had received while a child. And this trauma caused her to act in the way that she did. Oh, well, let me give you my two cents, yes. Trauma as a child, unfortunate, undeserved. Not at all Sarah's fault, if it's even true. Not like she has a history of lying. If you were abused as a child and you become a 32 year old man and you then abuse a child as a 32 year old man, do you think that that's a valid excuse? Or do you think that from the time that the abuse happened to the time that you grew up, you should realize that maybe that's a bad thing and you shouldn't do it? Oh my gosh. 
this person was abused as a child and then grew up to be a 28 to 32 year old who beat the living crap out of his wife half to death on numerous occasions. Do you think that that person should get a break because they had a rough childhood? Or do you think that that 28 to 32 year old dude beat the crap out of his wife should know at that age that maybe you shouldn't treat people that way? Oh my God. It's almost as if after the trauma, we can learn and grow and know that we shouldn't treat people in a certain way. But that's not what happened with Sarah. That's just a bullshit excuse that her crappy defense attorney, who honestly I've lost all respect for, and I'm sure he doesn't even give a shit about my respect because he doesn't have any for himself or his occupation, because screw justice. Let's just try to get this super lying felon off on the lightest of charges. So here's the end result. Sarah Kavanaugh lost her job. VA ain't hiring her. And she can't practice medicine anymore. She was a counselor, if I'm not mistaken, or some form of counseling, and that's what she had went to school for and gotten her degrees in. Well, she can't practice that anymore, and rightfully so. She stole clients' records and pretended to be them or a made-up amalgamation of them and then steal a bunch of shit from charities. So there's one thing that she lost. Very good. So nice. She also has to pay back $300,000 in restitution to the various charities that she scammed. Boom! Oh yeah! Lose her job! Going for the wallet! The one-two punch! Oh! But what's the third punch? How much time is Sarah Kavanaugh staying in federal pound you in the butt prison? Drum roll, please. <laughs> Almost six years. Ooh. <laughs> Five years and ten months. Uh, and then after that, I believe she has two years supervision. So two years probation, even after all that. Oh. Oh. Great. Oh, you know what? She sold her house for $83,000. Well, that's what she made on it. And that went immediately to all the veterans and all the charities that she scammed. So, well, hey, that's a good start. Still got about $220,000 to go there, hon. <laughs> well, bam! Oh, so that's it. After having stolen over a quarter of a million dollars, pretended to be a veteran, and scammed uh, dozens and dozens of individual people, Sarah Kavanaugh lost her license, lost her job, got to pay back all that money, and is gonna be spending 70 sweet, sweet months in jail with two months under supervision at the end of that. Ah! Justice has been served. Mm. Makes you wanna build bunk beds and do karate in the garage. Even though justice has been served to Sarah, justice may not be so sweet to the veterans organizations that unfortunately lost money from Sarah and might have lost a little bit of face getting caught up in this horrible scam that is 100% Sarah's fault. So just like the previous videos, I'm going to put a link of each individual organization that you can help support. Veteran, non-for-profit charities that you can support and show Sarah, stupid moron Kavanaugh, that you're not gonna take our kindness as weakness, we're still going to support each other. And if you want to support this channel, feel free to check out angry-cops.com. I got a new t-shirt out that kind of depicts Sarah's shenanigans pretty well. And that shirt says, I am amazed at your stupidity, humbled by your bravery, and not at all surprised by your laziness. And on that note, see you next time, weirdos. Sarah Fane's being hurt. All oh, my injuries. Oh, my neck. My back. My pussy and my ass. I don't know if I can say that.